So now we go to the Brown Advisory, novice chase over three miles, it's going to be a test of stamina. Fact to file has absolutely done nothing wrong all season, he's been foot perfect. You must remember he hasn't had a novice hurdle campaign, so he's got limited experience, although he did run very well into track last year in the bumper, finishing second. He's taken really well to jumping fences, he's a very talented horse. The only thing is his experience of being around, he, he will lack that where the likes of Stay Away Fay is really hardened. He's a winner at the festival last year over three miles. He's back again, he's shown his aptitude to stay. He loves galloping and jumping and stays really, really well. Also, you have the likes of Broadway Boy. It wouldn't be a surprise if this race went to an English horse in the shape of Stay Away Fay, or maybe at a bigger price, Broadway Boy. They're two very talented horses. Yes, yeah, so now we go on to the feature race of the second day, the Queen Mother Champion Chase, where we have El Fabiola, John Bond, and again, now we bring in Edward Stone, who has found a new lease of life the last day in Newbury, making the running and been very, very effective. He brings a new dyma dynamic to the race. We know that John Bond likes to get to the front and likes to dictate his races. He has got an awful lot of speed, uh, John Bond. He does make a slight error, which can be a worry, which we saw in Cheltenham in his last appearance. But I think people are taking away from the fact that he was almost gone and out of the race and still came back to virtually all but winning it. So for me, I, I have a huge respect for John Bond. El Fabiola is a big, strong horse. He has the interesting when both of them meet up again, which they have done in the past over hurdles. And John Bond has beaten El Fabiola he reversed that last year in the Arkle, so it's a very interesting race. I'm going for the value here in John Bond.